Good morning and welcome to video number 28 of me growing out my beard. There is a surprising amount of you that watch this channel that didn't know that drums can be tuned. Not only can they be tuned, but they should be tuned. Pretty often. This could be a struggle for a lot of drummers because unlike pretty much any other instrument, the drums, you don't have to worry about the pitch because it's always there for you. This goes for every single percussion instrument except for the timpani. So if you don't play timpani very often, then you most likely don't work on the skill of fine tuning pitches. But there is technology out there that can help alleviate some of the struggle. I have bought this product, the TuneBot Studio. And this thing is an electronic tuning device that can help you match pitch on your drums. And in this hashtag not sponsored video, I will be using and reviewing the TuneBot. But before we get into it, make sure that you click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. I will be doing a fan collab at 200,000 subscribers. If you're interested in participating, please follow the link down in the description. Okay, let's get in tune. The TuneBot has a whole heck of a lot of features on it. You can use it to tune each lug on the drum individually or just get the fundamental note. You can even save the tunings that you like on multiple drum sets, both the top and the bottom heads. But in this video, what I'm interested in is its ability to tell what note that the drum is playing. But I'll leave a link in the description if you want to learn more about this product and all of its features. So my TuneBot, it came in this nifty little uh, cylindrical case, very secure in there. It is not going to move around or fall out at all. And because I ordered it from Sweetwater, I also got this bag of candy with the Toon Bots. And let's see what we got. We got a Tootsie Roll, a Peppermint Patty, a Fireball. What's that? That's a bit of honey and something else. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so probably the main reason that I bought this in the first place was for this instrument, the Spiel. So this is basically a drum piano that I made to play a chromatic scale, but it's drums. Not because I had to or because anyone asked, but because I can. And I freaking love this instrument. I think it's amazing, but I hate tuning it, okay? It literally takes me like 20 minutes to tune it and then 20 seconds to play the lick that I want to. And time is money. I hate wasting time on tuning this thing. So I spent money on this to save time tuning this so that I save money. I, I don't know. I'm going to try to make sure this gets tuned faster. That's, that's what I'm going for. So let's start at the bottom here. Let's see if it can figure out what note we're at. We're at C sharp four. Okay. So this needs to be a C. So it's actually too high. Let's go down. Where's my drum key? We're at 83? Oh, is that B3? And now it's at F? Uh, uh-oh. Bro, every time I play it, it's getting a different note. Okay, I think the key is to hit it uh, close to the bearing edge. It's getting E4 pretty consistently when I do that. So we're still too high. This needs to be a C, so going down. Oh, yes. I'm figuring things out so well. We can tell by this little needle, it's slightly flat, very slightly, so. Barely turn it. Oh, okay, that made it like kind of really sharp. Wow, this is this is tough here. There it is, perfect, right in the middle. Okay, I'm not gonna touch it anymore. Let's move up to the next drum. Okay, we're at a point of really severe struggles here. It is not figuring out what this note is. No matter where I hit the drum, it just changes every single time. So I think it's actually been pretty consistent. This is what we got so far. Uh, I think these upper spots, this is probably where the, the pitch range is running out of where it can register. I'll just do the rest by ear, I guess. <laughs> I 
So the thing is, this is like way lower than I had it tuned ever. Um, maybe I just had it tuned to the wrong key, or maybe it's a whole octave lower than I had before. Uh, yeah, I don't really like this tuning. Maybe I'll just like octave transpose it up. <laughs> uh, but then I can't even use that because the tune bot can only get to like an F or an F sharp in the Spock range before it just can't figure it out. Uh, maybe I'll just leave them low. I don't know. So the Spockenspiel wasn't exactly a success, but we're gonna see how the TuneBot does with the low drums, the tonal bass drums. And this is the other main reason that I bought this device, was for tuning these drums. There is not necessarily a specific note that they need to be tuned to, but there is definitely a specific interval that each drum should be tuned compared to the last drum. And I spent a whole heck of a lot of time tuning these drums, so hopefully the TuneBot will reduce that time. So before we use the TuneBot, I'm going to show you the way that I used to do this. This is with an app on the iPhone called SingScope, and I think this is made for singing, but it also kind of works for tuning bass drums. Uh, so right now it's picking up my voice. Ooh, that's a, a A flat, a very flat A flat. Okay, let's see how it picks up bass five. Yep, just where I want it. Down there, it looks like we got C sharp. Actually, that's not where I want it. I usually like it at D. Okay, and bass four. It's like a flat A. Uh, looks like we got slightly flat D. And then I usually can't pick up bass one and two, but let's see how it does. And around to F sharp, uh, it's kind of hard to tell though. And then bass one. <laughs> yeah, we're like not getting anything. So this is a little bit of a struggle. Hopefully the tune bot can do it a little better. But let's see if this is actually consistent compared to what the tune bot says. Okay, we got C sharp. Yeah, just like the iPhone app said, pretty much exactly the same. Although I usually tune this drum to a D. Like, I like to do, let's see, was it D, A, D on the bottom three? This D is an octave higher than that one. All right, yeah, there we go, perfect. Right in the center, D2. Let's keep going here. Okay, so so far the TuneBot is doing a really, really good job at figuring out these pitches. So here's exactly what I want these two. So this is a D, we have an A, and then D again. So that we get this nice, beefy, perfect fifth. And an octave between these two. Beautiful. Okay, now let's see if the TuneBot can outperform the iPhone with bass two. Easy. Oh, we're perfectly on F sharp, and that's exactly where I want that tune to, okay? So we got D, and then F sharp, which is a major third above that, and then I want this one to be an A. So let's see if that's what it is. Okay, we're at a sharp, G sharp, we're pretty close, and okay, so the tune bot definitely outperforms the iPhone. It is actually picking up what note this drum is. Man, this drum is struggling to get up <laughs> to the proper note. Ugh. Reefing the crap out of it. Okay, we're in the A range. That's good progress, I suppose. How did it go back down? All right, I'm starting to fear for the sake of this drum. I think I'm just gonna stop cranking it higher. Yeah, these drums are like 15 years old, so maybe this is just the highest note that this one can get to. Uh, maybe I should tune everything else down at some point. I'm not gonna do it now, but hey, it'll be easier to do now that I got the tune bot, okay? This thing is definitely working quite well for the bass drums. But anyways, the tuning I'm going for is the uh, major triad between these three drums. 
So then this one would be an octave from this, but it's slightly flat. To me, it sounds perfectly fine. I don't think it really matters that in real life, it's a little bit flat. Nobody's gonna care. So the Spockenspiel and the bass drums are the only drums I have that I'm really concerned about what the pitches are and try to tune them to the same pitches all the time. But just for the heck of it, I'm going to test out the tune bot on all of my other drums and get an idea of what pitches that I like and see if it makes sense. And we will start off with the drum set, my six piece kit. The tune bot was easily able to identify the pitches of all of the drums on the drum set, so that was pretty nice. And here are the final results. These are the notes that I have my drum set tuned to. Someone who's good at music theory, compose a comment and let me know what chord those drums make up. Next, I wanted to see what the pitches of my tenor drums were. The Toonbot was struggling a little bit with these. It was able to get the pitch of the main four drums, but it could not figure out the pitch of the Spock drums, probably because they are too high pitched. So these notes happen to be the first, second, third, and fifth notes of a F-sharp major scale. Very interesting music theory. Next I tested out the tiny tenors, or the marching octobon drums. And I was surprised to see that the TuneBot was actually able to pick up the sound of the four main drums on these. I guess those longer shells help enough with the resonance to make it able to be heard. But just like the regular tenors, it wasn't able to pick up the tiny Spock drums in the middle. And I was also surprised to see that this was the exact same tuning that I had on the regular tenors. Yeah, same octave and everything. How's that for consistency? Next up we had the marching snare drum, but the tune bot was not able to register the pitch of this very highly tuned Kevlar head. Perfect pitch people, compose a comment and let me know what pitch this drum is tuned to right now. And last up we have the mega tenors, all 17 drums and all 94 pounds of it. So these were the pitches that it was able to read, and of course it wasn't able to read any of the seven Spock drums. Although the TuneBot was kind of really struggling with this set in particular for some reason, way more than the other set of tenor drums. And it was even telling me that some of these drums were the same pitch, which clearly they are not. So yeah, I don't know, I don't really trust this thing with tuning tenor drums anymore after this. But anyways, here's the pitches that it was saying that it was. Pose a comment if you can figure out what chord that is. That is some real big brain music theory right there. In conclusion, I was a little bit underwhelmed with the performance of the tune bot. It was able to recognize the pitches of the low drums, but not at all with the higher pitch drums. And since playing high pitch drums is something I love doing all the time, that's a bit of a letdown. But I do think that it did a really good job recognizing the pitch of the tonal bass drums. So if you're in charge of tuning bass drums for your line, then maybe this would be a good thing to get to help you save some time. Not so much if you have to tune tenors, or it's definitely not snare, it didn't recognize the snare whatsoever. And to all of the thousands of Spock and Spiel players out there, this probably isn't a good thing for you either. But I thought it was by far the best at recognizing the pitches on the drum set. All the toms, the kick drum, and the snare drum, it picked up those frequencies very, very easily. So if you're a drum set player and you want a consistent sound tuning your drum kit, all the time, then yes, I would recommend this product for you. Hopefully this review was helpful. If it was, make sure that you click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. Thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. If you are able to, please consider going over there to make a donation. It will help the channel out a whole lot. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt such as this one. I will leave that link in the description. And have a good morning.